Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Finwin playing Banish. This is with uh, Colonial Charter Mod 1.55 installed. And today, your Today I Learned fact is that deer are found in forest. And that is where you hunt them. You want to put your forester in a forest to hunt deer. Uh, Overhunting will not diminish their numbers, and deer are also frequently seen in orchards and crop fields. However, they are purely cosmetic, and they don't affect your crops. So don't put your hunters anywhere but in a pocket of forest. Now, I hope that was helpful to you today, and let's see, where did we leave off? Last episode, we were building houses, which are all built now, thankfully. We are a little low on wood after that little building spree, so we're going to hold off on building... I want to at least have one more house started. Oh, people are starting to die. We're losing people. Old age. I, I prefer to have them die of old age. Then they're all starving to death or they're all freezing to death. We're going to get one more house going there. I'm going to reduce my number of builders because I'm going to slow down on being on house building at this point. And instead we need to focus on getting some resource restocked. Right now I've got, uh, because it's winter, my farmers, and I might make that a fact of the day in a later episode. But because it's winter, my farmers are out there gathering some resources right now. I did send them over here to gather these trees, but let's also clear out this little peninsula up here. It's close to town and it gets us some resources. I don't think I can clear the tops of the trees. Or the tops of the mountains, rather. Tops of the trees. Tops of the mountains. I think those are just going to be visual stuff forever. Uh, my forester's been building. I set him to not cut, only plant. So we've got this big spot that he's fill refilling for us to reharvest, uh, which I'll probably do again over here once he's done refilling this. I might move him over here to refill this area. I guess we could go ahead and grab these around that. Um, should I put another bridge? Probably wouldn't hurt to put another one over here, but I hate having them going so far. I need to really get my... Uh, my uh trap or my buildings moving down this way because right now they're having to run so far either that or come across the bridge i'm not sure which way i'm going to expand just yet so i think what i am going to do is put in my bubble bees so let's get this guy down oh we're gonna have to flatten this area uh, i hate doing it but let's do it i've never used the flatten tool before so this is going to be something new I'm not sure what all is not flat, so let's do that. And I want to see what that does. Oh, it didn't require... Maybe it uses workers instead of, uh, you know, like your uh, laborers, rather, instead of your builders. I got worried when I tried it before that maybe it would use my builders, and I didn't look at the number. I just stopped it from doing it. Um, probably should have looked at the numbers. That would have been a little more helpful. I just want to see how they tear this down. Nobody's doing anything yet. They're cutting the trees off of it. Really? They've got to clear it, clear cut it first? That's interesting. Well, at least he'll replant it when they're done, but I'm going to put a building there anyways. So I'm going to let them flatten that out, and then I will be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, I am back, and I this is odd. It looks flattened already to me. So does that mean that I, do I have to clear it? I've never used this tool. Let's see. If I remove this, will it go tall again? No. Yeah, look at that. It flattened it. But it never removed the marks of them flattening it. So if I do that, I'm going to do that here too. And see. Oh, do you see that? So I think they have to clear the trees off of it. And once they do, it goes flat, but the tool stays there. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and build. I want to get that... Um, Honeybees making us some honey. We need that wax for candles. So I'm going to plop that guy down right here next to our field that's going to be here. And let's increase our builders. We're getting a little population going now. Some people becoming adults. We've got a lot of babies. <laughs> we got a lot of babies. We got 13 babies. So we'll clear that up. And once that's done, I'm going to put in a candle maker over here. Our forester is now filling in area that I'm starting to build, but it is at least this over here. I just want to let him replant this area and then we'll move him because I am going to be tearing a lot of these trees out. Let's see, how are we doing on resources? 
still I really have to watch it right now because those logs are getting low really low oh man come on cut those trees down I could be bad and cut this whole area down but I just don't know if I want to do that um, really don't to be honest <laughs> I don't want to lose all that good growth let's see I know logs are low I was just I was just saying it am I repeating the computer am I doing that thing my one job all right let's see extra points if you know what that's from all right I think we're gonna go ahead and clear out some more trees I hate to send them down here to do it but might as well it's spring get to work people we're gonna have them clear all this stuff out and we've got some more iron down here but that's kind of far and I think with the tree clearing and stuff I don't really want to do that just yet how's this is it flat it's flat look at that that's kind of cool okay we're gonna remove that so remove what no I didn't mean to let's remove all that now I have to do oh that's cool okay so now it's all flat I really like that that's pretty awesome they just cleared out and will our forester replant probably all right that's done no do not remove structure thank you can we get off of that <laughs> pointer please I'd appreciate it no I don't want to remove structure there can we go away there we thank you apparently the remove okay that's odd once you do the remove structure even if I tried to huh I guess maybe that was just a weird little glitch. You guys saw it. You saw it. I'm not making it up. <laughs> All right. Let's get a guy going on that. And now we can get a candle maker. Which I think is here. No, here. Yes. So a, sh a chandelier. -y. We're going to put them right there. I like that that works our builders are still all busy with that and people are starting to die yeah we're gonna need to get that graveyard in soon but I really just don't think we have the stone to do it just yet we have 33 stone let's look stone we have 136 and the cemetery takes it's under city is it yes cemetery one per length Hmm. So we could probably do it, but it would pr probably use a big chunk of our stone. I'm not quite sure where I want to put it yet. I like to put it with the church in a nice little yard area. Just something kind of pretty. This is going to be more farm. We'll have little pockets of farm throughout our villages. Um, I could put it over here. Like right about here. That probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Near town hall, but not quite. I also could put it over here and start another patch of people which would make getting to these resources yeah that would make getting to these resources a lot better so I think I'll start my church and graveyard and then a stockpile and stuff over here probably won't need yeah make it gathering a lot faster if I had a stockpile over there okay what am I the builders are occupied I'm starting to the problem with starting to get so focused on building resource production buildings is that you put yourself in a position of running out of laborers so I don't want to I'm gonna build this and then I'll I'll get back to building some houses um, and doing some decorating to give my citizens a chance to finish school and become workers we're gonna need a few more laborers and again I'm still shocked at this point we're almost you know I think we're this is episode 8 and I still do not have nomads I'm being denied. No, it's when you need them. They'll show up later when I don't want them is what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll get some nomads soon. So I'm going to, again, pause a moment, let them build this building. And, oh, well, actually, they're almost done. That works. All right. So we'll go ahead and start another building. And I'm going to put, yeah, I want to put another country home. I think I have enough glass for it at this point right between these two and our little outskirts there probably really more houses that I need over here so this is two people two people one person four people 
Well, it would be four if I had enough workers. Oh, see, I'm not even <laughs> not even maxing out my workers on that, which is kind of okay because we don't need to. And we've got a chandelier. There we go. So now we'll have some candles starting to get produced. And let's see. I think our next will be to get another house going maybe once. What are we working on? Oh, house. They are working on a house. Let's get some decorating going over here. Or do I really need to decorate? I don't think I do just yet. I could decorate my center courtyard for my town abode. Colonial Hall town abode. I keep calling it town abode. <laughs> but I think we're going to stop here for today. I hope you guys... Oh, what's... Oh, they need beeswax and we haven't produced any yet. Oh, well. So I think we're going to stop here for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Finian today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.